never know what form these intrusions can take, so you really have to watch out for them. <laughs> now, to make the filling, you take as many countries as you can get, and you gotta gut them all thoroughly. Remove all the human rights legislation and environmental laws and trade barriers that would get in the way of the homogenous consistency we're aiming for here. Now, uh, sometimes you'll find countries that don't seem to want to fit the idea of a grand melting pot. So you have to pass them into shape with a trade sanction. Once you've done that, you just toss in a few billion people of assorted colors and a little bit of greed, endless amount of cash, and you stir it all up real good. Now, for the best flavor, I recommend simmering it over burning rainforest. <laughs> While it's simmering, you should have plenty of time to make the crust. The crust is really simple. You just take a pie plate, crack open a few dissident skulls, Then you uh, season liberally with pepper and beat vigorously with a stick. Sometimes you can beat it a little too bigger. Um, you just put the crust aside for a few years, let it cool down so that it won't threaten to break up your MAI pie. At this point, the uh, filling should be stirred enough that it's nice and smooth, but there's sometimes a few lumps left, so you have to bash it into shape with a straight center again. After that, you just uh, Add in a few lumps of radioactive waste. <laughs> Strain it all through a perforated ozone layer right into your filling. And cook it over the ashes of the rainforest. Now, you leave it in there for a few years, but you gotta make sure to take it out when no one's looking. Now, sometimes this meal can be a little hard to swallow. Uh, oh. Especially if you're serving it to guests who are used to meals flavored with things like freedom and justice. So to make it go down a little easier, I recommend serving it with copious amounts of bullshit. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, just cram it down the hall. Okay, okay. Well, that looks like about all the time we have for this week. So until next week, I'm Porky Prophet. And remember, if you're a rich fat pig, you're the only one who deserves a portion. Corporation 
Christians and at the same time maintain social programs. Therefore, we feel as if we've made the right choice in further slashing the budget to education, to welfare, were having trouble to maximize their profits for the labor standard and minimum wage. We did everything we could to help them through NAFTA. And other NAFTA, a través de NAFTA, de poder moverse en México. Sin problemas con los indígenas.